for Canadians to know what's happening and to understand. You need a way. And it can't just be about Justin Trudeau, who's, if I, if I could just say, it, so absurd that that guy is going to sashay off into history fairly soon, I think. Because, I mean, honestly, someone told me last night, I was talking to someone, um, to one of your countrymen in Toronto last night, and Justin Trudeau is, who I've never met, though I know his cousin Gavin Newsom, but he, he's so, uh, he's so ridiculous. He's so transparently phony. I mean, I just, I'm mesmerized watching him. And so my very obvious, but as a foreigner, question at dinner was, does anyone believe him? And everyone thinks, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. young people do. I hope that's not true. Uh, no, it's not true. Tucker Carlson criticizes Justin Trudeau, labeling his actions as absurd and ridiculous, which reflects a valid assessment of Trudeau's perceived lack of seriousness and sincerity. Carlson's skepticism resonates due to Trudeau's alignment with public values, emphasizing the importance of political figures' integrity. Even Trudeau acknowledges concerns about being viewed as ridiculous and residing in transparent territory, fearing the erosion of public trust in political institutions. The support of the younger demographic for Trudeau's sincerity raises concerns among some woke Canadians highlighting worries about the potential impact of a leader perceived as fraudulent on the beliefs and values of the younger generation.